Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Today we're going to cover products, variants, inventory in detail, but it's going to be a quick video. So if you're not familiar, SKU Savvy is a full warehouse management system designed to organize your warehouse visually and make the pick, pack, ship process a breeze. So today we're going to discuss products and just how to view them, where you can find certain information about the products, and generally how to get a good overview of your products within your SKU Savvy account. So if you've already connected Shopify, your products will import. And when they come over, it will bring over all the details that Shopify has. So as a note, you should generally try to import new products on Shopify, and those will flow over directly into SKU Savvy. And from there, once you have the products within, you can make adjustments. So here we're viewing a product detail page, uh, sorry, a variant detail page. But if we go back into the product detail, we can see the properties, including the product tags, whether it's a physical or digital item, perishable items, a digital item won't require fulfillment, but it will still be part of the fulfillment itself. So when you update that on the order, it will be automatically picked, uh, but still be part of the shipment. Uh, from this screen as well, you can view all of the variants. So within the variant list, you can make direct edits there. If we go into our variant list, we can make bulk edits to all of the variants of this product, as well as being able to go into the inventory and view inventory across all of the variants for this product. So if we click on a single variant, we can see each location that product is currently held within our various warehouses and bin locations. And finally, on the product view, you can see for each variant, which vendors currently hold uh, or supply this product and at what unit cost. You can make edits to the variants or the vendors, as well as to create or initiate a purchase order on that variant with this vendor. So if we click into a variant here, we're now going to get information pertaining to the variant itself, including the price of the variant, the SKU, whether it's on back order, the options that exist, which could be you know size, color, shape, et cetera. You also have the barcodes for a particular variant. And at this point, we could enter new barcodes. Now, if you do enter a new barcode on Shopify, that will come over into SKU Savvy as a new barcode. So the existing barcode will still be within the system, but you'll have a new barcode. On the topic of barcodes, you can have SKU Savvy from the configuration settings generate barcodes for all items that don't have them and you can set a default item barcode format for generated barcodes within the system this would just give you an internal barcode it could also be printed off on the product itself so if we go back into that variant we can see again the dimensional information and that's going to influence the way SKU Savvy suggests which box size should be used during the fulfillment it's not necessarily used, although some carriers do use it to submit the dimensional information up. Usually it's a cube size dimension. We can also see that for a given product, if it has units of measure available. So if we go to a product that has units of measure, we can view that. And here we can see on the variant itself that we've got a couple of different units of measure. The unit of measure can be purchased, i.e. you could purchase it from your supplier in that unit, check it in as any of the units available, and SKU Savvy will keep those relationships intact with the quantity of inventory. You also can assign the unit of measure to a particular barcode associated with this variant. So keeping going through the products, when we go into our vendors for a specific variant, we can see exactly which vendors carry this, as well as the SKU from the vendor and the unit type. You can also assign a unit cost and edit or delete that information right directly from the product variant view. We can also see from this view, we go back into our app, we can see any kind of kits that this product may be involved with, or we could go ahead and create a new kit for this single variant. You can also see for a particular item, the inventory that is across all of our warehouses, as well as the committed stock of this, of this item. 
And if we click on this, we can view all of the current open orders for this single variant. You can also see the expected inbound orders for this variant, as well as how fast this product is selling and the inventory history over time for this single variant. Down below, we can see for each of our warehouse locations, our min and max par value ranges, as well as where this product is currently at. And if we pull this down, we can see the exact bin locations this product is stored within. We could also make an adjustment to the inventory just by clicking there and adjusting the quantities directly or adding it to a new bin location here. And then from here, we could go ahead, click back into the product and view the inventory of this variant in this specific warehouse. To quickly get back to our item, we can click back into the view item and that's gonna bring us into the details page. From here, we could continue on and view all of the open order or all of the orders for this particular variant as well. So if we look back at our products table, a couple of things that we should note. One, you can toggle the view between a grouped view. So if a product has multiple variants, they'll be grouped up into the master product here. You could also flatten this out as I had it. And that's going to show each individual variant. From here, we could also see the quantity for that particular variant across all of your locations. You could turn on or off different table fields with the three dot menu. And of course, you can filter down as well as sort by the quantity or any of these column options, just clicking on it and sorting. If you enter in the filters up above, then you're going to get a narrowed down list, at which point you could start dealing with or viewing that inventory. From there, we could also click into an item and be able to view it directly on Shopify. So if we click into a single variant and we just want to view this variant, click on the little tag here, and that's going to open into Shopify on that particular product so that you can go through, compare inventory values, or make adjustments to the item directly on Shopify, which is going to flow right back into SKU Savvy. And that's going to wrap it on the product overview. I hope that was helpful. There's a lot of things within the products here that make it easy to either add new barcodes, update barcodes, change around the information of dimensions, um, and be able to get a high level overview on all of your orders for a particular variant, inventory, et cetera. We'll see you on the next video. If you haven't already, make sure to get a free SKU Savvy account at app.skewsavvy.com forward slash register. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.